So character creator four is out and it is looking amazing with some absolutely wonderful features. Let's kind of go through them. So if you purchase character creator three and a whole bunch of plugins, they are free upgrades. So there is a link in the description for this where you can click here to claim your free plugins and they will go from character creator three up to four as well as iClone. Sick. So the absolute donkey that I am, I forgot to actually record what the heck is character creator four. So here I've just got a dummy character and we can come up here into the edit settings and from here we can either go through and change all the different body types. Mm, a little bit masculine there, buddy. Um, and then we can actually go into the individual, you know, settings where we can change kind of like shoulders we're looking at at the moment. Let's go into the waist, change the various sliders here to get your own custom character. Let's go thick legs and let's go thin legs, so on and so forth. And then obviously with the head, there's plenty you can do here. So there's a lot we can change, you know, ear scales, cheeks. Um, but the other cool thing is if we go into like full heads, we can actually morph some of these heads. So if I go into reset, that is the default face. And obviously we've got a whole bunch of def um, presets. So for instance, base CC1, we bring in this face. Um, let's bring that down. And there we go. So we can just start sliding stuff around. <laughs> and there are plenty of settings that you can go through to make your own, you know, great character, crazy character. This is the main reason why I use Character Creator 4 is because I can whip up a character in 5-10 minutes compared to spending days modeling. Now I kind of wish I had an upgraded so I could actually show you what came with Character Creator 4. But if we kind of come through here, we can see... If we have a look at the characters, I know that these two have obviously come through with CC4. If we click in base, we've got these two. Um, we've got three clothed characters, two stylized characters. We've got some scans of characters here. With the clothing, we've got a few t-shirts and corporate looking shirts which is good because i need them pants hot pants pants jeans you know the bees knees a few nice looking skirts these coats which look amazing let's throw them on that looks pretty good obviously we've got to clean up a bit of the mesh here and we can do that quite simply by selecting the coat coming up to the first option which is attributes edit mesh comes into wireframe from here i can select a point come into soft selection uh, press W and then we can just kind of like move it out bit of a bulge and then we can go ahead around and just Slightly clean up all those areas. So they're not clipping through but then again. Yes, like I said shouldn't have upgraded but I did Shoes, what do we got some sneakers some high heels? Now there are plenty of free resources that you can download um, So you just go through and check what you want. Obviously as you can see I'm downloading everything and anything I can Ooh, I missed some stuff Let's do a quick overview of some of the features. So make sure you subscribe because we'll go more in depth into each one of these parts, bits, thingamabobs. Let's have a look at physics. So we know that this dress here has some physics. So if I press play, you can see how it's moving around. And if we really take notice, we can see only this bottom section is moving around where this top section is staying still. So with the dress selected, we can come into this option up here where it's physics X we can see that it's already activated. So if I were to turn this off and then we were to press play, you can see that we've got a very much a steel um, dress, skirt, dress, skirt, skirt. Activated physics, this is all based off the weight map. So if I click on this, so you can see that we've got this uh, weight map. Now all the physics is based off this weight map. If we wanna have a look, I can go into UV reference and then we can actually see what it looks like based off the UV. So here we go, we can see that this part here is the dress, I assume. This is gonna be the top half or the waistband and this will be kind of like the hem down the bottom. And if we have a look at this map, so let's just crack that open over into Krita as well. We can see this is the bottom half that has the physics down here. So if we kind of scroll between, this is obviously the main dress, this is where the physics is. So that's a really clever system. How to get that into Blender, I don't know if I can. I hope so, but I don't know. And the same will go for Omniverse. If we have a look at the hair, 
um, and we go to weight paint, we can see that it's gray, so it's not full blown physics, it's gonna be more of a gentle sway there, which is awesome. Now the next cool thing is skin color. It's a very simple way to change skin color. So with the character selected, let's come over into skin, nope, into textures up here. Let's go shader type from digital human tongue. We're gonna to change to digital human skin. I will click okay to that message. And from here, what we can do is we can come down to skin color and expand the blend map, the color adjustment, and let's go activate skin color. So this is gonna affect all the body parts. So if you are from CC3, you know that the head's one skin, the body's one skin, the arms are each one skin. So with this, it'll affect them all. So for instance, let's go into blend map and we can see that making this slider move, we're changing the strength of the color. And obviously if we want to go darker, we can select the color. Let's come into a darker skin and press OK. And what this is going to be doing is going to blend between the original color and the one we've got set up. So now you can see that we've got a darker skin color. Obviously we can go into, you know, a blue color if you want and we can have a Smurf. But if we come down to color adjustment, I've turned off the blend map. If we go activate here, we've just got a little bit more control, I guess, on the creation process. Um, I'll probably be using blend map a lot more than this, but I'm sure there is plenty of benefits and I look forward to doing a little bit more research on that. Here I've got one of the other characters. I'm just gonna select on him. And what we can actually do is convert to actor build. So this is great for the characters in the background and so on. So it'll really lower the qual, I wouldn't say quality, it will really lower the polygons of the character so we can have more people in the scene. So we can go either convert to actor build or convert to game base. I'm just gonna go convert to actor build for now. Here's gonna be a bit of a message, which is fine. I'm just gonna press okay and just let that process quickly. And now that's a cool feature because now we can keep that in the actor build. So I'll probably do another video as I discover more awesome features so make sure you hit the subscribe button i'll definitely be doing i oh i forgot something i forgot something so file export um now we can go straight to iclone which we had before we've got obj's now we've got fbx's and this usd omniverse stuff oh mwah, mwah. oh that's so good it was already there but now that i'm touching omniverse so much more mm, um, but yeah, we'll do a comparison video between iClone, Unreal Engine, and Omniverse, Eevee, Cycles, not Unity, because Unity sucks.